Hey folks, it's that time of the year. It's uh, beginning of April and um, I go through my greenhouse at this time of the year and I like to trim off all the uh, brown leaf tips on the uh, on the palms in here to get them through the winter time because this greenhouse is unheated. It gets cool in the winter and uh, I don't water this greenhouse from November until uh, up to about three weeks ago. And uh, by doing that, it cuts down on the molds, especially Botrytis. And the palms that are more susceptible to that are actually these Washingtonias. And it would get very humid in here, a lot more humid if I watered. So um, they are a little on the dry side before I started watering in here three weeks ago. And what happens, they do tend to get brown tips on them. So I go through with scissors, I clean everything up. The trackies too, I don't bother. There's thousands of them in here. I can just trim those off when I pot them up. And, uh, and then they're good to go. So right now, I've finished doing that. I've done the sable palmettos, miners, the tony eye, and uh, other palms in here. I got butias, and we have some, um, we have perijubeas, we have uh, siroxalons, and um, we also have phoenix cinerances, among a few others. So I've cleaned everything up, and now I'm gonna come in here and give it a good flood water. Most of these things are in 2.5 inch liner size pots. So these pots tend to dry out pretty damn quick if you don't water them for months. These are actually rooted right in. These are Sable Minor Razorback. These are Arkansas, and that actually is looking pretty good. So I did clean off a few uh, dry tips off of those, and I'll grab the camera and I'll show you exactly what this 8x12 greenhouse is doing right now. This is our propagation house, and um, we start them in here, we take them out, and we, we pot them up into bigger pots. We have a lot of Sables in here, hundreds of Sables uh, from all areas of the uh, southeastern United States. Good ecotype. And uh, this is what it's looking like. So you can see the trackies have brown tips. Even the tree fern's a bit dry. I'm going to have to water that too. So, But uh, here's some of the bigger palms we're going to be putting in the garden. And then there's lots of Washingtonias in here. Sables. And lots of sables in here. It's 85 degrees in here right now. It's really nice. Just perfect. Actually, there's a brown tip right there. There's an example. I missed that one. So that's what happens to them. So I'm just going to clip that off. All of these had brown tips on them. So it just kind of neatens them up and uh, makes them look a little bit better for the growing season. So anyway, that's the thing. You don't want botrytis in your greenhouse because you get botrytis mold on your uh, on your palms. And uh, a lot of them, it is detrimental to them. Trachycarpus never seem to get it. They can handle the moisture. But the more dry loving species, Washingtonias, it, they did start to get a little bit on it, but it never took hold. I got, uh, I got on top of it pretty quick. So it's a humidity thing and it spreads it around real quick, especially with the water. So anyway, folks, thanks for watching and uh, happy palm growing. Those fans really circulate the air well too. That's important. Good air circulation when you have a greenhouse. All right. Cheers.